Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another fantasy draft, and this time it will not be the NHL again. It will not be the AHL also again, except, you know, we kind of did free agents last time as well with this one, and I sort of found a way to get around that. So maybe we'll do the AHL again at some point, where free agents are not on the board, but we're going to be doing the ECHL today, okay? So this should be fun. I'm going to turn trades off because I did see a comment actually on one of my recent draft videos that trades are on and, you know, it's kind of better to see who just straight up drafted the better team. I agree. So, yeah, I like that idea. Trade difficulty doesn't really matter because we're not going to try trading anyway and we'll just do standard roster control. Now, how shall I pick a team? Last time, I did the highest overall for the AHL. We got two 57s, another 57. Another 57. Another 57. Okay. All right. Could I maybe do the lowest overall? Actually, <laughs> the Swamp Rabbits. I want to use them because their name is so sick. But uh, let's see if there's the lowest overall. So right now, uh, I see a couple 54s. Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of 54s. And 53. 51. That's definitely the lowest. Okay. We're using the Wichita Thunder. Let's do this thing. I think we're going to get draft pick 10. That's my guess, all right? Let's go to game settings here. Just make sure that everything is all set up. So I need to turn off injuries, which is not here. Apparently, I'm going to turn off autosave as well. Uh, you know what? I'll leave it on for now, I suppose. I guess. Rules. Let's go. Injuries are off. Mm-hmm. And anything else I need to do under rules? I don't think so. I guess this is in franchise mode, right? So I don't have to worry about... Well, we're not going to get any trade alerts, but... I'm going to leave it on just in case. You never know. Trade off for notifications. I'll just turn that off. Auto rotate. Sure. And don't even think about it, Jabroni. You're not touching my lines. Okay. We're good to go. Let's draft. And let's start the season. Okay. Pick 10. Don't tell me I forgot to turn on fantasy drafts. I did, didn't I? I definitely did. Oh, my word. All of that. For what? All right. I think we're good. Fantasy draft on. CPU trades off. Uh-huh. Okay. Checking all the boxes so far. Lowest rated team. Wichita Thunder. Mm-hmm. Continue. Looking good. Looking good. Smile and wave, boys. And then let's go to rules. Yeah. You're doing great. Off. Okay. Advanced settings. Mm, off and no thank you. I think we're good this time. All right. This should be it. Pick 10. Show me. Aw, oh, 17. Okay. That's fine. I'll take that. We're somewhat near the middle. So let us draft, shall we? Ellis. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is definitely ECHL players. So we're looking good. All right, what do we have to choose from here? Ooh, Jordan Subban, 71 overall, offensive defenseman. Interesting. Is this uh, Bobby Butler? <laughs> what a great name. Okay. Yeah, he is a sniper. He's 73 overall. Looking good, looking good so far. Let's start by potential. So we got high top nine here, which is pretty solid, actually. JD. All right. He's only 66 overall, though. So probably going to take him a little bit later. You know what I mean? But I, I don't think we have a whole lot of wiggle room. Like, he'll probably get drafted somewhat soon. Anyway, I, I don't know who to take. Goalies. We've got Jones. So there's a few 70s here. Yo, Oreo. <laughs> And Warm. Beck Warm. These guys have the coolest names of all time. I'm going to go with... Should I just take Butler? I mean, you know, he is a right wing sniper. I mean, a good first player to grab. Sure, let's do it. Why not? Lock him in. No! Oreo's gone. That is so sad. All right. Well, I got two goalies here still. We got Matt Robson and Ken Appleby. Okay, so Appleby... Has a little bit um, better stats. That's not really good English. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah. AHL starter medium. High fringe starter for Robson. Ooh. Okay, so he's got the better potential. He could maybe grow throughout the year. Who knows? Let's go with Robson. Why not? There you go. 70 overall goaltender. Welcome to the team. Is that... I'm just going to take him if he's still there. He is not. He's gone. There's a high top six defenseman. Brickley! <laughs> oh, man. If anybody 
No, there's definitely nobody still watching me that watched from my like NHL 14 ESHL days, but uh, Brickley, not specifically that Brickley, but it's sort of a joke from back then. And I could take, we already have a right winger. I feel like I have to take Brickley just for the, yeah, let's do it. We could grab Joe to be our first line centerman. He does have 85 discipline. He's a pretty good skater. Shooting category is, um, you know, got power, but maybe not a whole lot of accuracy going on there. I feel like that might be a common trait. So, yeah, our first line centerman. Let's go ahead and grab him. Sure. There we go. All right, this, this team's underway. We don't really have to worry about salary cap this time, so that's also interesting. Carpenter, you've just been there the whole time, so you're going to be my first line left winger. Welcome aboard to the Wichita Thunder. Next draft pick, who will I take? Hensick, he is a right wing playmaker drafted by the Colorado Avalanche. Hmm. Okay. A lot of these guys weren't drafted. Phoenix Coyotes. Matthew Broder. We could grab another defenseman. He looks like he would be a stud back there. He's a tall man. And he is also... Is he physical? Yeah, very. Okay, so he's got the four-star physicality. Yeah, let's go. Lucas Craigs. He is a grinder. 70 discipline. Oh my word. I was actually considering it till I saw that. Well, I guess these guys aren't really much better. A right wing playmaker. Okay. Sure. Why not? Costello. Let's go. I'm going to like just pick pretty much randomly at this point because I don't really know any of these players. Okay. I don't really pay attention to the ECHL, but I know that, you know, from the comments and stuff, there's some people on the channel that love the ECHL. So I'll hopefully pick some of the players that you guys like or no, and yeah, that will be fun. Colin Long. 62 discipline. Come on, Colin. Get a grip. Well, what about Shawzy? Hayden Shaw. 70 discipline. These guys have low discipline. Is there just a lot of penalties going on in this league or what? Maybe there is. <laughs> Maybe there actually is. I have no idea. Do we have a right-handed defenseman out of curiosity? Is Brickley? No, he's left. Okay. All right, noted. So, let's try to grab a right-handed defenseman, shall we? And we have left. There we go. There's two. Okay. Nick and Steve. I'm going to go with Steve. We've got Connor Jones and we've got Kellen Jones. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Um, I don't know how else it'd be pronounced, but I guess you never know. Uh, ooh. Not only was Kellen drafted, he also has 80 discipline. He is, however, a 64 overall. Hmm. I'm going with, yeah, Kellen. There you go. Uh, yeah, team's looking all right, I think, so far, based on the overalls that I've been seeing. So I'm, I'm always drafting from basically the first page. So our team should be pretty decent, I think. Is there another right-handed defenseman? We're going to try to get our top four locked and loaded. Okay, we still got Nick. Anyone else? All right. Melindy. Yep. Ooh, okay, he's 67 overall. I'm going to grab this guy. I want to win. I'm here to win. I'm a gamer, okay? We're doing this. I want to take this man's just because his name is Christopolis. That is incredible. Billy? His first name's Billy, too? Well, congratulations, sir. Welcome to the Wichita Thunder. That's the easiest selection I've ever had to make. All right. Nesbitt. Derek Nesbitt. He is a two-way forward. Right winger. Okay. Yeah, he's, a, he's a veteran. We'll get some veteran. Actually, I don't know. I haven't really been looking at the age of the players I've been drafting, to be honest. So, um, is there any, like, super young, decent players here? You know, get some youth in the room as well. Doesn't, well, 58 isn't terrible. Shearer? James Shearer. He could be on the, the final pair there, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Nah, <laughs> I'm just going to keep going by overall. I want to win. Like I said, I'm here to take a dub. 57, though. That's a little bit better. We get Thomas, Corey Thomas. He could be 85 discipline. Let's go, Corey. Welcome to the team. Good old Sean Weller. Two-way forward. Justin Taylor. Drafted by the Washington Capitals. I have to take him now. Ottawa Senators. Yeah, okay. Washington Capitals pick. 
you are joining the Wichita Thunder. Welcome. How many picks do we have left? So we need basically four more forwards and one more defenseman. So we still need five more picks. Okay, ready? Speed draft. Uh, we still need a right winger, right? Yep, New Jersey Devils. Sure. Welcome aboard, kid. Welcome to the team. And here we go. All right, next pick. Jones. Okay, Connor Jones. Should I just... 62 discipline is brutal. But I kind of want to take him anyway. I did say speed draft. Okay, this isn't very speedy at all. I'm going to take Jones. And then if Long is still there, I'm going to take him as well. Yeah, and he is still there. So, oh, but what about Albert? Look at this guy go. Two-way forward. 84 discipline. Sorry, Colin. You have been duped by another centerman that just happened to jump on the front page there. Okay, we need a left winger. V Vive? Vave? Something like that? Smotherman? What a cool name. Jordan Smotherman. Power forward as well. 78 discipline. Drafted by the Atlanta Thrashers? Yeah, I think so. Make that selection real quick. All right. We need a defenseman and we're done. Boom. Defenseman. I think we need another right-handed defenseman. I could be wrong. Let's check it out. So we have left. Um, that was weird. Okay. Left, left, right, right, and left. So yeah, we need a right-handed defenseman. Marcus McIver. Sure. Welcome to the team. All right. You're 20, 22, 23. I'm getting, mm, would this be the 2021, 20, 22? Maybe. Anyway, your Wichita Thunder are done. Let's sim the entire draft and go put this team together, shall we? Edit lines. And here we are. Don't even get out of here, coach. All right. Head coach preferred lines. I want to make sure this is everyone I drafted. Why is that a thing? I did draft, yeah, he, oh, he's a center left wing. I didn't see that. Okay, does he have good face-offs? Nope, sure doesn't. What about you? No, no. Do these guys even have good face-offs? I mean, Albert does a little bit, but... Okay, that's a little bit better. You know what? I'm just going to run with best lines. Whatever they say, I'm going to stick with it. And you were not drafted by me, sir. Who was? Thomas, right? I think I drafted this guy, Corey Thomas, so... You can get placed in there. He does shoot left. Yep. Yeah. McIver. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Rickley. Brodeur. I guess I drafted this guy. I, for some reason, don't remember him, but I suppose I did. And let's just go to scratch and see if there's anyone there. Let's do it that way instead of going this way. Connor McCarthy. Nah, I don't think I drafted him. Okay. I think we're good then. I think we are good. And let's check out the goalies. We got Robson and Christopoulos. Let's go, Billy. Billy Bean. Okay. Cool. That's our team. I'm going to say Butler gets the most points with, I don't know, 58. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. I'm pretty sure. Is the ECHL 72 games or maybe not? I don't know. 58 is a safe bet. So I'm going to say 58 for Bobby here. And then I'm going to say that we... I don't know how many points to guess because I don't know how or how many wins to guess. I don't know how many games there are. So, I'm just going to say we finish first in the league. I'm going to be that bold. Here we go. Let's do it. I love how fast the sim goes for the season too. It is wild. It absolutely soars. I don't know if you guys have played just for some reason like old NHL games or whatever. NHL 13 on the 360. The simulation in that game is embarrassing, honestly. It's the best way to put it. And I remember I went back and tried to do like a career sim. I'm like, there's no way. This would take two years to finish a career sim on this game because of how brutal the sim times are. So yeah, we did make the playoffs. We got the Utah Grizzlies. Isn't that like the same name as the basketball team? Maybe not. There was like Memphis Grizzlies at some point. Uh, no idea. As I'm literally wearing a basketball jersey. Yep, I'm that guy. Okay, well anyway, let's check out some stats, shall we? I think it's this one you have to go to for some reason. Yeah, okay. So we're pretty solid there with 45 wins on the year. We finished first in the division. There is 72 games, so I had that right. Let's go to the entire league. Oh, no! The Wheeling Nailers beat us out. Brutal. 48 W. So I was almost correct. You know, very close. But yeah, unfortunately, we ended up finishing second in the league. And here you go, just to kind of show you... All the teams there. Nice. So, 
Let's check out the player stats now. Costello with 59 points. Very interesting. Butler had 51. So I was close with the number, but I had the wrong guy. Chad Costello. Proving to be a real Chad here for the team. And carrying it on his back. Connor Jones, 44. And yeah, here we go. Let's just go through here. Kind of curious to see how the goalies did. How'd you guys do? Not very good. A 903, 240, which, yeah, I guess 240 is not bad. And then an 899. Couldn't even get a 900, eh, Billy? He still had a record of 11, 6, and 1, though. Two shutouts and two shutouts for Robson as well. Okay. Now I'm also curious. Show me the entire league. How many points were people getting? Ooh. Okay, Justin, I see you. 71 overall. He is a first line forward, at least in the ECHL. 65 points. Attaboy. Luchuk. Where have I seen that name? Was he? He was like a Leafs prospect for a minute, was he not? Anyway, he got 64 points. And yeah, there's a couple here with 64. And we did not make the front page. But that's okay because our team did in fact finish second in the leagues. You know, the name on the front is a heck of a lot more important than the one on the back. Let's check out the goalies. Boom. Robson. There we go. boy. And then Colton Ellis. Yeah. This guy, 74 overall versus our 70 overall. Uh, I mean, he did have a 917, and this guy had a 920. Let's go, Hunter Jones. He was drafted by the Minnesota Wild. Okay, he's an elite goalie. Attaboy. So is Colton Ellis. Okay, yep. Nice. A 928? Holy Dylan Wells. Chill, fam. Let's go do the playoffs and see if we can take home whatever the trophy is. I don't know what it is for the ECHL, but here's hoping that we win it. Boom. And sim to this day. Here we go. Don't tell me we're going to get first rounded. We are, aren't we? Sure are. Absolutely, Ran. Wouldn't have it any other way. It's just called Playoff Champions. <laughs> the Utah Grizzlies. All right. So they absolutely dummied everybody. Apparently, in the playoffs. Cool logo. But, uh, yeah, we got four points from Carpenter in the playoffs. And let's have a look here at some of the stats. Just curious to see... What kind of overalls these guys had? So the Utah Grizzlies ended up winning this thingy. Great uh, headshot there, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that is prime. Love how his shoulders just get cut right off. Anyway, he is 70 overall. 60 overall? Yeah, right. Oh, he actually only got 35 points. What the heck? How do these guys even make the playoffs? They got no points. That's whack. All right, well... It is what it is, I suppose. And it was the Wheeling Nailers. Look at this. The bottom three teams. Okay, never mind. There's uh, you know, another team there. But anyway, we've got another tremendous headshot there for the picture. 70 overall. Zach Hall, 66. Okay, all right. And Michael Kim, 68 overall. 37 points. Yeah, these guys didn't get a lot of points either, really. Huh. Well, I mean, they... Still did something right, apparently. How many points did we have? Yeah, like, we got, you know, we got some good points there. And we still finished second. You win some, you lose some. All right. No awards, unfortunately. Here's the playoff tree. Because I'm probably cutting off the bottom right. It looks like the Thunder beat the Railers. 4-2. Okay. And there you have it. So, let me know what league you would like to see next. And, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.